Tom Ellis might not be firing up the screen as the devilish Lucifer Morningstar, but he's kept himself busy since his hit show. Here's what he's been up to. Prior to his role as Lucifer Morningstar, Tom Ellis had some success in other popular shows, which could have catapulted him to the same level of fame that Lucifer did. Except his character arcs never quite lasted. In 2007, Ellis was cast as Thomas Milligan in Doctor Who. He was initially introduced during an alternate timeline, The Year That Never Was, as a doctor of a team rebelling against a Saxon master. He and the 10th Doctor's companion, Martha Jones, engaged in a flirtation that continued into the proper timeline. The two eventually got engaged, with the promise that Thomas would surely return to the series. However, his character was scrapped, with Martha instead marrying Mickey Smith, another previous companion. Ellis suffered a similar fate in 2013 when he was cast to play Robin Hood in Once Upon a Time. The series was known for bringing well-known fairy tale characters to life. This version of Robin Hood was cunning and resourceful, so it came as no surprise that he eventually became a staple character in the show. However, Ellis was recast with Sean McGuire, cutting his time in the magical land of Storybrooke short. Similarly, his Merlin character, Senred, experienced a short time on the show, as he was killed off after a handful of episodes. When Fox made the decision to cut ties with Lucifer, viewers were outraged. Lucifer fans tried to save the show by launching a Twitter campaign with the hashtag SaveLucifer and pick up Lucifer. The show became the number one trending topic on the platform, with over 3 million tweets and retweets, proving just how important the series had become to fans. Luckily, Netflix answered the call and brought Season 4 to its platform. Lucifer enjoyed success on Netflix, as the streamer brought it back for a total of three seasons. However, this caused some apparent tension as contract disputes between Tom Ellis and the studio threatened a final conclusion for the beloved characters. In the spring of 2020, it was reported that production on Season 6 was in jeopardy as the renegotiations between Ellis and Warner Brothers came to a halt. An insider told TV Line that the goal was to keep Ellis happy with the final negotiations, however, there was also a limit. While neither Warner Brothers nor Ellis' spokesperson ever commented on the speculation, the delay was cause for concern. Thankfully, all parties were able to pull things together and provide fans with an ending that they had worked so hard to get. At the core of all of these decisions, it's business. In 2022, Netflix debuted an adaptation of Neil Gaiman's acclaimed comic book series, The Sandman. The show follows Morpheus, one of the seven endless that embody and control the forces of nature. Morpheus is the lord of dreams, and when he's captured, his realm of dreams is sent into absolute chaos. Aside from Morpheus and his other endless siblings, a popular character from Gaiman's comic is Lucifer, the ruler of hell. Since both have existed in the DC Comics continuity, Tom Ellis' version of Lucifer is loosely based on Gaiman's work, and some fans wondered why Ellis wasn't brought back to play Lucifer in The Sandman. However, the reason is quite simple. The character Ellis portrayed is simply too different from the one in The Sandman. On X, formerly known as Twitter, a fan asked Gaiman to explain why Ellis was recast. He said, Because his Lucifer, while inspired by the Lucifer in Sandman, is so far away in terms of Sandman continuity by the end of Lucifer, that it's easier on everyone to go back to the version in the comics. Plus, by seeing an entirely new version of Lucifer, fans are now able to have a new experience when watching The Sandman. Gaiman said that he still admires the lovable version of Lucifer that Ellis played, but he knew that recasting the character was the right choice. Therefore, Game of Thrones actor Gwendolyn Christie was brought in as a colder and more brutal Lucifer, which is also more accurate to the story from The Sandman. Lucifer wrapped in 2021 in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. Prior to the restrictions, Tom Ellis had said that he would travel back and forth between LA and the UK in order to spend time with his children. However, with the lockdown that proved impossible, it contributed to him taking a break from acting once Lucifer ended. Speaking on the Rain with Josh Smith podcast, Ellis reflected on how he might not be able to see his children for months, describing the experience as being terrible. Luckily, he found that he could work through the torment in therapy, stating, I've spoken to a therapist for years now, and I think it's one of the most helpful tools that I've found in my life. Can we please just focus on what truly matters here? This is especially the case as he gets older. Ellis is beginning to put different things in perspective for the sake of his family. The actor has a large family, as he shares two daughters, Florence and Marnie, with his ex-wife Tamsin Althwaite. He also has a daughter named Nora from his previous relationship with Estelle Morgan. Currently, Ellis is married to producer and screenwriter Megan Oppenheimer. The murder of George Floyd by a police officer in Minneapolis, Minnesota caused a wave of protests against police brutality that exploded worldwide in 2020. During this time, Tom Ellis became heavily involved in the movement against racial profiling, and with Lucifer being over, he dedicated some of his resources to the cause. In an interview with Square Mile, Ellis explained how he wanted to use his star power as a voice for those who didn't have one, and it's thanks to his wife, Megan Oppenheimer. She went to school with Brandon Kyle Goodman, best known for his voice acting in Big Mouth. After the murder of George Floyd, Goodman shared his thoughts and experiences as a black man on Instagram. He would engage in conversations with Oppenheimer, which in turn brought Ellis in as well. 
Ellis decided to use his large platform as a space to spread constructive conversations. Together, they launched Black Folks, a weekly series of conversations between Goodman and other black guests hosted on Ellis' popular Instagram account. For Ellis, it was a chance for him to do some good. Speaking to Square Mile, he said, I've got quite a big social media following now. It's the best thing I've ever done with my social media. I want to encourage and invite more conversation like that. Brandon is so brilliantly articulate and just generally compassionate as a person. As you can see, the devil does indeed wear Prada. A major issue that many actors come across is being typecast, and this would especially be the case when an actor plays a television character over a span of several years. Eventually, audiences begin to associate the actor with the character, as that's what they're most notable for portraying. And this is exactly what Tom Ellis wanted to prevent from happening to him in his career. Because he played the character of Lucifer for so long, Ellis is looking to branch out and explore other kinds of roles, which is likely why he's been so hesitant to jump into anything too quickly. In his interview with Square Mile, Ellis said, I'm going to find myself in that similar territory in that people are going to expect one thing from me now, and I would like to surprise them and do something completely different. That's always been my thought process. Luckily, Ellis has taken the past few years to compile a list of things he'd like to accomplish in his career, which he shared with Square Mile. From working on Broadway to portraying Benedict in Much Ado About Nothing, Ellis has many plans. And at the top of that list, working with his wife, Megan Oppenheimer. It's thanks to the magic touch of Tom Ellis' wife, Megan Oppenheimer, that he's returning to Hollywood after his much-needed break. Ellis shared that he met Oppenheimer while shooting the pilot episode for Lucifer. They were introduced through a mutual friend who knew that the two would hit it off. It seems as though they were correct, as the two have been happily married since 2019. Oppenheimer works as a producer and screenwriter. She is the creator of the Hulu series Tell Me Lies, starring Grace Van Patten. She also wrote for the popular AMC series Fear the Walking Dead, before it was announced that she'd partner with Reese Witherspoon to work on the drama Please Don't Go. Ellis and Oppenheimer are teaming up for the first time together for their new series Second Wife. The series is a dark comedy that stars Emma Roberts alongside Ellis, as they play a couple who impulsively get married and realize they don't know each other. Now that Tom Ellis seems ready to head back into the limelight, he's got a few projects in the works. In addition to accomplishing his dream of working with his wife Megan Oppenheimer in their series Second Wife, Ellis has another series he's set to star in called Washington Black. Hulu's adaptation of the novel of the same name, Washington Black, will see Ellis co-star with This Is Us star Sterling K. Brown and Ernest Kingsley Jr., who will play the eponymous protagonist, among others. The story begins in the 19th century on a sugar plantation in Barbados, from where the young character of George Washington Black tries to escape. His journey brings him to contact with Brown's character, Medwin Harris, who becomes a kind of mentor for him. Ellis portrays the quirky inventor Christopher Wilde, also known as Titch. His family owns the plantation, but Titch is exceedingly different from his cruel brother and becomes another friend to Washington during his adventures. Oh, well, come on, who's in? For most of his career, Tom Ellis is stuck to the small screen. However, thanks to the fame that Lucifer has given him, Ellis now has the opportunity to reach new heights. And it seems like that's just what he's going to do, as the actor does have something in the works for the big screen. He's set to star in an upcoming romantic comedy called Players, opposite Jane the Virgin lead Gina Rodriguez. Players is described as a similar concept to that of the 2005 Will Smith film Hitch, which follows Ava Mendez as Sarah as she tries to expose Smith's Hitch, a professional date doctor who helps shy men approach and successfully date women. Of course, Sarah falls for Hitch, realizing that his job isn't exactly the misogynist career she initially thought it was. Players follows a similar formula, with Rodriguez's Mac making a habit of creating hookup plays with her friends. But of course, she eventually falls hard for one of the men she goes after, who is portrayed by Ellis. The film also stars Damon Wayans Jr. and Joel Courtney from The Kissing Booth. It's produced by La La Land producer Mark Platt. Ever since Tom Ellis lent his voice to the animated series The Great North, it seems that his taste for voice acting has grown, as he's also set to voice a character in the Netflix animated series Exploding Kittens. Based on the popular card game, Exploding Kittens is not only getting an animated series, but also a mobile game to accompany it. This marks the first time that Netflix will launch a series and a video game at the same time from the same franchise. The series follows the conflict between heaven and hell as it spills out onto Earth after both God and the devil arrive there. But here's the twist. They arrive in the bodies of cats. Casting Ellis seems like a no-brainer, as this isn't his first rodeo when it comes to portraying divine characters. However, as he's already announced his hesitance at being typecast, it stands to reason that Exploding Kittens will offer audiences something entirely different from the squabbles between heaven and hell depicted in Lucifer. In addition to Ellis, the animated series will feature the voices of Lucy Liu, Sashir Zameda, and Abraham Lim, among others.